Hello everybody, my name is Janos Melnov and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do a lossless color separation in RGB. And I'm of course also going to show you why you would even need that. To begin with, let's do some normal adjustments. I'm going to create a new curves adjustment layer and using my targeted adjustment tool I'm going to zoom way in into my image, place a color sample here, and I'm just going to fix this point here so that it's 81 and 81 both. And I'm doing this because I want to fix this point so that nothing changes whatever I do to it. And now let's say I want to darken this blue here. And so I'm once again just taking my target adjustment tool. You can see that little curve. And whoa, what's that? I mean, okay. I'm just going to place a sampler here. Okay. Actually, what you can see is the point that I fixed earlier, number one, is constantly changing while I'm trying to change point number two, which is not changing at all, or just very minimally. And um, this is because the grid we get here inside the RGB composite dialog is actually not representing all of our in individual channels, but more a uh, compared version of the luminosity of the whole image. And therefore, if we try to fix this point, this is the luminosity of the point, not necessarily the lightness inside the individual channels. So this is really a full-on blue, so it's white in the blue channel, but the luminosity is pretty low, so I can't change it. Furthermore, I could change the blending mode to luminosity, but that wouldn't help me either. And something else that I want to show you is that when you blend something in luminosity mode, let's place some color samples here. Green 4, take both to HSP mode. And you can see that while well, the hue stays pretty constant, the saturation shifts ever so slightly, and I want to prevent this from happening. Something else that I want to show you is that we, when you set the mode to color, we are boosting saturation in point number four, just as we are supposed to be because we are adding more contrast, but in point number three we are actually reducing the saturation from 21, uh, 25 to 21 percent. And so that's why I'm going to introduce to you a new technique to separate the color and the luminosity of an image. And with this we can do luminosity adjustments based on the luminosity and color adjustments based on the color. For this I'm going to pick an invert adjustment layer at first, set the opacity to 50% and clip a hue and saturation adjustment layer onto it and change the hue to plus 180. Okay, hold down your alt key and choose layer, merge visible. Now you can delete these adjustment layers, set this layer here to color. As you can see, nothing changes on my image. Nothing should change. That's why this is a good thing. Now I'm going to duplicate my background layer, place it on top, and use Edit Fill, and fill this one with 50% gray with a blending mode of color. And what this is going to give me is the luminosity of my image. And so, if you enable and disable the visibility of these two layers, 
you shouldn't have any changes in your image. However, when we are trying to clip a curves adjustment layer to these points, just like we did before, and I'm going to fix point number one, make sure my info palette is open, and now I'm going to change the brightness value of number two. We can see that number two is really darkening or lightening, depending on where I move my point, whereas point number one stays constant. And so we can work a lot more carefully on our image. Also, as you can see, saturation changes in points number three and four are a little less, and so we remain with a little better saturation on our image. Next, that is the color adjustment. I did the S curve in color mode, and as we noticed in point number three, the saturation actually fall down, and this is quite um, quite normal when you're using very extreme values. For example, you can see here the brightness value is uh, ninety percent, and in very dark, uh, very dark and very bright areas. The curve will first of all make the point lighter or darker and afterwards apply the color mode and therefore sometimes um, this can change. And so what I'm going to do now is clip my curves adjustment layer to my color layer. I should really name this velocity. And now clip it and see what the image which happens. Yep. As you can see it's way better. We haven't lost any of the saturation and now finally as you can see in point three saturation really rises and does not fall like it did before. Which is really a good thing and you can see that it looks way more natural than without clipping the layer to the color layer underneath. So that's the main part of the technique. I should probably say that um, you can do the whole operation of course in action as well. I have recorded one for me which will also give you a little more options. For example, it will give you all of the individual ch color channels set up curves adjustment layers that you can use, for example, to do some lab-like stuff. So you can see that um, the curves work a little bit like A and B curves in lab would do. So for example, you could just use a preset to eliminate, that means desaturate all the cool colors in your image. Just going to show you here. This will get rid of all the cool colors in the image. Or you could, for example, eliminate the warm colors in your image. You could just increase the opacity like crazy. And um, it's really great for me and I really love to play with this. But um, now I also wanted to show you why I'm using the invert blend at 50% and use the uh, hue and saturation hue plus 100 instead of simply using a more easy method. And I'm going to show you on a different image. This is an HSL gradient, that means we have the HSL colors here, the hues are shifting from left to right, and from top to bottom we have a difference in the saturation, that means the saturation goes down. And so the first method that was given to me, many people ask about why aren't you using just uh, duplicate the background layer, fill it with 50% gray on luminosity mode, 
and then merge all the visible layers. Oh, I didn't need to have to do this. And uh, set the mode to color. And please watch the top of my image. That's why. Because there's lots and lots of detail loss and that's really not what we want on our images. And so when I'm using my new method with the 50% invert, shift the hue, merge visible, delete those, and blend it at color mode, you can see that there's not such a great loss. And if you want to see how great the loss is, we are just going to duplicate our background layer place it above the layer 1, set the mode to difference, and now inside of our histogram we can see that the mean is 0.04 and the standard deviation is 0.22, so that's pretty low and in 16-bit it's completely lossless, so I think that's okay for the normal workflow. So, I hope you've enjoyed it, hope you've learned a, thing, learned a thing or two. If you have any questions left, feel free to email me, Jonas underscore vendor at web.de or just Skype me, JonasW234. Until then, have a wonderful time, see you next week.